Welcome everyone to the 2019 reviewer tutorial, the do's and don'ts of providing reviewer feedback. My name is Max Tulch and I'm a member of the caucus program review committee. If you have any additional questions after this short tutorial, please email events at caucus.ca. Before we begin, we want to acknowledge that we are viewing this recording on traditional territories of indigenous peoples of Turtle Island and we want to recognize their contribution to this place and express our gratitude for our ability to come together and learn today. A warm welcome to everyone viewing this from across Canada. We are very grateful for your support and contributions in peer reviewing conference proposals this year and being a part of our process. Writing a quality review will help the conference organizers to put together the best possible program at the annual caucus conference. A great review is concise, aligns with the review rubric, and provides quality feedback that explains the reviewer's score. When you review the program proposals, keep in mind that we are seeking to present an overall professional development experience that educates, informs, and inspires. As such, we seek evidence that proposals are thorough, well-developed, and have been prepared with care. We hope to see innovative approaches to professional practice, theory, or research. Proposals should be grounded in a strong theoretical foundation and demonstrate that new information is drawn from empirical research or experiential practice. Submission should be thorough, free from spelling and grammatical errors, and demonstrate a presentation that will be engaging to attendees. Read each proposal thoroughly and thoughtfully, and provide your assessment of each according to the scoring guide provided. In the past, reviewers have reported spending anywhere from 15 minutes to 45 minutes per proposal. As such, plan accordingly. Find a quiet space to review at a time that you will not be disturbed. Allow enough time to review all proposals thoroughly. Some reviewers prefer to read all of their assigned proposals first before assigning scores. Have the rubric with you when you do your reviews. As you write your comments, please be aware that the committee will be reviewing them carefully, and typically, all comments are shared with the proposal authors. Here are some strategies and ways to provide constructive feedback. A good review includes feedback that is thoughtful, supportive, and fair. Avoid general negative statements and instead strive to ensure that feedback is helpful and constructive. Be clear, concise, and specific. Avoid generalities. Statements such as, this will be a good presentation, provide little in the way of constructive feedback. Start with the positive. Emphasize the proposal's contributions. Evaluate what they did, not what you would do. Avoid relying on previous knowledge. If a concept is not clearly explained, do not assume that others will understand it because you have previous experience in a related area. Avoid harsh language. If you wouldn't say it to a colleague face to face, don't write it either. Remember that feedback, be it praise or critique, should be constructive. Offer feedback that is useful and actionable by focusing on why you feel a change is needed. Avoid using templated statements for all reviews. Avoid making suggestions without explaining the reason why. Be user-friendly. Use straightforward language and write out all acronyms. If a term is esoteric but necessary, consider including a brief definition. Make your reviews concise and clear. Please provide comments wherever possible. Do not leave a blank review. Avoid making a conclusion without explaining it. Acknowledge your own implicit biases where appropriate. There will be more information regarding this topic in a separate video. Here are some other things to consider as you write feedback for proposals. Did the submitter provide a detailed description of the proposal and how it would be presented? Is the proposal current, accurate, and consistent? Does the presentation focus on its stated objective? Is the topic relevant to the caucus audience? 
Finally, consider the following when reviewing a presentation. What aspects of the proposal were strong? What needs clarification or more detail? How does the proposal see the possibility for change and innovation in our work? How does it critically reflect upon ourselves and the world around us? We hope that this has helped you to become more familiar with the do's and don'ts of providing reviewer feedback and you feel confident conducting your reviews. Please stay up to date on all the latest caucus news. Follow us on Instagram at caucus photos and Twitter at caucus tweets and continue to follow the hashtag hashtag caucus 19. We can't wait to see you in Calgary in June and thank you all for your time and hard work.